What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you how to set up MetaMask for Binance Smart Chain. After this setup, you'll be able to use MetaMask for any project that's built on the Binance Smart Chain, such as PancakeSwap, BakerySwap, ApeSwap, PantherSwap or any other project. Just a quick note, the Binance Smart Chain and yield farming is a bit more advanced crypto stuff. So if you're just starting out, then I'd rather recommend that you start with staking on Binance Exchange. This will get you lower returns, but it's also far easier and safer. So if you're new to staking, I'll link a couple of videos in the description that are about staking on Binance Exchange. So make sure to check them out first. So MetaMask Wallet is a Chrome extension. That means you can download it in the Chrome App Store and then have it attached to your Chrome browser. So first of all, you're gonna to go to metamask.io and then you're gonna click on download. Install, Met install MetaMask for Chrome. So from here, you're gonna to get to the Chrome Web Store and then you can click add to Chrome. So just confirm that, add extension. And now you, maybe you've just seen it, it's already said it's been added and it will open up a new window. So I really like this icon, it will always follow my mouse. I think that's, I think that's really funny. So now let's set it up. Click on get started. And I'm assuming this is the first time that you're creating a MetaMask wallet. So in that case, click on yes, let's set it up because you don't already have a seed phrase. And this is a 12 word seed phrase that you would need if you had to ever back it up somewhere or if something went wrong and then you'd need that seed phrase. So we'll go to the right section and we'll click on create a wallet. So now we'll just inform you about the data usage and you obviously have to agree to that if you want to use MetaMask Wallet. Now the next step is to create a password. Make sure you always remember that. I'm not 100% sure if you can recover that if you ever forget it. So choose something you can remember. Then uh, click that you've read and agreed to the terms of use and click create. Okay, so now we're here at the backup phrase. So these are the 12 words that you'll need in case you ever need to back it up or restore your account. So this is like the most important part if you ever get lose access to your account. So this is why you, you have to basically reveal it to make sure that you're in a safe space. So uh, this is a wallet that I'll never use. So this is just for demonstration purposes, which is why I can reveal those words because I'll never use it. Um, so if you're ready, just click on that and then you'll have all the instructions on the right side. So make sure to write all those words in this order down on a piece of paper that you can store somewhere safe. So once you wrote those words down in the exact same order, click on next and in here, so you have to uh, recreate this sentence. So this is just to make sure that you've really written them down. So let me just quickly do that and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so once you've written or once you've chosen all those words in the correct order, click on confirm. And now you've set up your MetaMask, congrats. For now, you can just click that away. And now the next step is to set up the connection to Binance Smart Chain so that you can then use decentralized exchanges such as PancakeSwap. All right, so looking at this interface, you can probably see pretty quickly that it is on the Ethereum mainnet right now. And this is because MetaMask is an Ethereum wallet, so this is like the standard configuration. So if you want to use decentralized exchanges that are built on the Binance Smart Chain, you can't use this address or this account just like that. It won't work and your funds will probably be lost if you send it to this address. This is why we need to set up a new address for the Binance Smart Chain so that you can then connect it to PancakeSwap or any of the other swaps that are built on Binance. So the easiest way to connect your MetaMask to the Binance Smart Chain is to Google how to connect MetaMask to Binance Smart Chain. And then you have to click on this article of the Binance Academy. I'll link this in the description as well. So you can just go there and click on it. Now what you'll have to do is you have to click on your profile on the top right and then click on settings. And so you'll have to add a new network. So this is why we'll go to network. And now you can basically just, uh, from this article on the Binance Academy, you can basically just copy 
all the information that they give you here. Okay, so in here, click on Add Network, and then you'll add all of these information. All right, so what we've done here is we've given it, given it a name. So then this is the URL that it will be connected to. This is a chain ID number. So that's just that uh, the, the network knows where the transactions have to go. Then this is a, the currency symbol so that you know what, you're, what you'll be trading with or what, what, what kind of currency is in there. And then, so this is optional the block explorer url so basically that's to see more information on your transactions i'll show you that later then click on save and now you can actually close that and what you see now is that we have now changed so this is really handy it has the symbol on top so you can see we've changed now to the smart chain so we're not on ethereum network anymore but we're on the binance smart chain so this is really important to note that you always have to make sure that you're on the right network whenever you're making transactions. If you also interact with decentralized exchanges on the Ethereum network, then you would just have to go to the top and always change that. So you would have it on the Ethereum network. Luckily, you always have the symbol and it, it says ETH. So it's pretty visible on what uh, network you'll be working on right now. And then once you have to change or if you have or if you only want to work with the Binance Smart Chain, then just make sure it's always set on Smart Chain and you'll see, okay, this is Binance, that's fine. All right, now there's one last thing you need to do before you can actually use MetaMask with decentralized exchanges such as PancakeSwap. And that is that you need BNB or a Binance coin to actually, so you need to have them in your wallet so that you can pay your fees with that. So whenever you do a transaction, there is a small fee. It's pretty low in comparison to the Ethereum network. So that's great, but there's still a fee for every transaction. And in order to pay that, you need BNB in your account. So let's look at how you can get them over here. So this is your account address. It only shows the first few numbers and the, the last few numbers. But if you hover over it, you see it says copy to clickboard. So you only have to click on it and it's copied. And then you would go on Binance Exchange and then select BNB, so Binance Coin, and then send it to this address. You'll have a choice of different networks to send it and you'll have to choose Binance Smart Chain, otherwise it won't work. And just be aware, there will be a couple of warnings and information popping up, so just make sure to read through that so that you understand what's going on. But once you've confirmed all of that, you will receive your BNB in here and then your MetaMask is fully set up to work with the Binance Smart Chain and you can start trading and swapping and investing in those new projects. One more really interesting is to look at the Binance Chain Explorer and that's if you go to the three dots on the top right and then click on View Explorer. And in here, you'll basically see all the transactions that have been done with this MetaMask wallet with your address. So right now we've obviously, we obviously haven't done any transactions, that's why it's not showing up in here. But also, so what, what happens sometimes is if you send over other coins to this wallet such as BUSD, which is also a Binance Smart Chain coin, so you can send it to this address, but it won't show up in here. I'm not sure why that is, it's not the best it doesn't give you the best overview so in that case or if you if you send it over and you're panicking you can always go to the explorer and then you will have a drop down menu in here where it says bnb value and you'll see if you have any other coins and you and the value of that so i find that really helpful to know where you can look that up and one last detail that i just personally find really useful is to actually pin your the metamask wallet to the top of your chrome browser so because it's an extension you can basically pin it to the top so you always have super quick access and the way to do that is to go to that puzzle icon and it says extension so you click on that and for now you see that we only have the metamask extension here and then you just click on the on the pin 
and now you see the icon on top so it's pinned here so you, so you can always just click on that and it will give you a little drop down with the whole overview so i just find that really useful to have quick access all right so that's how you can set up your metamask wallet and connect it to the binance smart chain now i will be creating other tutorials and step-by-step -step guides for those exchanges such as pancakeswap so if that's something you're interested in definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when those videos come up also if you'd like me to cover any other Binance Smart Chain related question, uh, if you'd like other tutorials or if something wasn't clear, then make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll see how I can best help you or if I can create other videos. So if anything is still unclear, go to the comment section. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!